Welcome to Church of the Ascension. My name is Olivia Trombino. We especially welcome visitors and those who might be joining us in person for the first time since the pandemic began. We are happy to have you here. The mass intention for this liturgy is for the deceased Steve Genovese and Dio Garcias. Today's Mass is being streamed live. We are united today both in person and with our online family. For those present, kindly turn off the volume on your cell phones. Saturday, May, May 1st, Reconciliation is canceled and will resume the following Saturday, May 8th at 11 a.m., 10 a.m. to noon, sorry. <laughs> the Justice and Peace Committee invites you to our Forum on Law Enforcement and Mental Health Thursday, April 29th at 7 p.m. Details can be found on our website. It is not too late to join the Adult Faith Formation Series, Live the Joy in Every Day. Gatherings online via, via Zoom on Mondays. Contact the Faith Formation Office to find out more. The YAO Golf Classic is May 21st. To register as a golfer, sponsor, or donor, visit the church website events link. Several town hall meetings are being offered to present information about Ascension's Growing Our Future campaign to support the new parish office and help lay a financial foundation for the future. Please see the website to register or call the business office. The dates are Monday, April 26th, Wednesday, April 28th, Tuesday, May 4th, and Thursday, May 6th, all at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. Please register for the one that best fits your schedule. Please rise. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, today we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Easter. It's also known as the Good Shepherd Sunday, or the Vocation Sunday. And today, in a very special way also, we join the Christians in the Philippines who are celebrating 
500 years for Christianity. We say thank you, Lord, for the gift of faith that God always continue to reveal to us in our journey of life. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if you are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, in his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. 
There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the holy race by which we are saved. The word of the Lord. Our response is, the stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. The stone, stone rejected, rejected by, by the builders has, has become, become the, the cornerstone. cornerstone. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his kindness endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us that we may be called the children of God, yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do not know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, as I said in the beginning of the Mass, that today we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Easter, and is also known as Good Shepherd Sunday, O Vocation Sunday. I was asking myself, why Vocation Sunday? God calls us each one in a special vocation. You have your vocation, I have my vocation, you have your vocation, and we need to make sure that we fulfill what God has entrusted us. But today, in a very special way, I would like to encourage you to pray in a very special way for the vocation, for priesthood, and for the religious life. Because if we don't get the priest and the religious in our journey of life, we don't get more who will continue to make the church move. And today, as we continue to pray, let us pray also for those priests who are struggling in their journey of life. Last week, I received a call from Cincinnati, Ohio. I have a friend of mine, a priest with the same age of myself. Last Sunday was the last time for him. He just celebrated the Mass and then he told the parishioners that this is my last Sunday and now I've decided to stop working as a pastor, but also I'm going to take a leave of absence so that I can take care of my sickness. So the parishioners didn't know what kind of sickness father is struggling. And when I called them, they asked, they said, we didn't know what is going on. So today I want to share with you as you continue to pray for priesthood, to pray for priest, remember we are human beings. We also struggle in our lives. And sometimes it's very difficult even ourselves to understand what is going on in ourselves. But you as parishioners, you have to help us to go through Today I want to share with you what I've come to learn from my mother, Maria. She's a mother of 16 children. I remember one time one of my brother priest, he was preaching and he, was in, uh, he came up with the, uh, with the project that uh, everyone has to come with the Bible. So when he's reading the gospel, they opened the Bible and started reading. My mom didn't go to school. She was sitting like where you are sitting at now. And the priest didn't know whether it's the mother or father Daniel. He didn't know. And then he said, you mom, why are you not opening the Bible and read? And my mom, she was smiling. And then she said, father, whatever you read, if you read it slowly and you lead with an open heart, I put it here. And I can share to my family what God has revealed to me. That was a powerful message because God reveals to us in a different way. Even those who cannot read, they can understand what God wants us to do. And today I want to share with you, my mom, she's a good shepherd for all the steps she did to take care of us. We came to know Jesus through her. She didn't taught us about, did teach us about one plus one, no. But her life was a school for us. 
Her dedication was a school for us. Her sacrifice for all 16 children was the school of life. And even for every ex ex challenges we experience in life, it was the school from herself. So what does it mean to us as we celebrate the feast of the Good Shepherd? The Sunday of the Good Shepherd that Jesus is telling us that he has come to this world so that we can have the life, the life abundantly. He died for us and he continues to remind us that we have to follow his footsteps. He's ahead of us, and we follow him. No matter what we do, we have to follow the good, the good shepherd, what he has done in our journey of life. My mother is always a good example to me, to show me who is Jesus in our journey of life. And even this time, she's struggling with the chronic arthritis, and she's always uh, complaining the pains and everything. Sometimes when I ask, Mom, what is it going there? She said, I thank God that at least I have woke up today, but the pain is still there. What does it mean? That there is the time we have to accept who we are. Even at the time when we are experiencing difficulties, we have to let God himself to take care of us. As he did as a good shepherd, he's also showing us a good lesson as we have heard from the first reading. The first reading reminds us that it's by the power of Jesus we can do wonders. Peter is here today to continue to give us that good example that the reason Christ has given us that power to make the difference in our lives. And we can do, we can make wonders. Let us continue to join hands together as a family of God to proclaim the good news, to proclaim the good news of love. But we cannot say that we stop, but we have to support one another. As I said, my brother priest, he's going for leave because he is sick, but I told the parishioners that you have to know he needs you and you have to come closer to him. Maybe he needs your attention. He wants to hear from you. Maybe you can try to talk with him and see what is going on. So I want to invite you. We need you and you need us. In order to continue to live this Christian life, we have to support one another. And sometimes if you see something is not going well for Father Daniel, please come and ask him, what is going on, Father Daniel? I can share with you because life is a journey. No one is stronger, no matter what. We need to get strength from the Good Shepherd, who is always calling us, come to me who you are labor and burden, and I will give you rest. Dear friends, as we continue to move forward to celebrate Easter, let us join hands as what the Good Shepherd had shared with us, that he loves us, he cares us, and he follows us. Amen. Amen. Please stand and profess our faith. I believe, believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, from the substantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our, For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, 
and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As the good shepherd tends his father's flock, so we ask God to help our brothers and sisters. On this vocation Sunday weekend, we pray for young men and women that God may give them the gift of understanding to discern their service in the church, the priesthood, diaconate, or consecrated life. And for the gift of courage to follow his call, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters in the Filipino community, as they celebrate 500 years of Christianity in the Philippine Islands, may they continue to spread the good news of Jesus throughout the world as beacons of salvation and faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish leadership as they gather next Saturday to foster the teachings as missionary disciples initiatives for the benefit of Ascension's faith community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask Jesus, the Good Shepherd, to comfort our sick and homebound of the parish, especially Ed Abuga and Gilbert Carreras, those critically ill listed in our bulletin and those whose names we mention aloud now. We pray for those who have found eternal rest with the angels and saints, those laid to rest in our columbarium, especially Angie Hughes, whose funeral is Friday, April 30th at 1 p.m. And in memory of Steve Genovese, Dio Graceras, Nora Buckley, Bill Caitlin Sr., and Vi Thomas. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray. God of mercy, hear and grant what we ask in the name of Jesus, our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Due to the COVID pro protocol, donation baskets are located by the doors as you exit the sanctuary. Thank you for your continued support. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all, his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find a delight in these Paschal mysteries, 
so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right, and just uh, due to our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land and every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightfully gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly employ you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
and Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we lie for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Mary, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember your servants, Steve Genovese and Dio Gracias, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious, grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Let's offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace, and we ask if you're watching us live stream to please put a note in the chat box. Peace, brother. To take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
The good shepherd has risen who laid down his life for his sheep and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. If you're visiting with us, we want to welcome you. And for those people who are coming back, perhaps for the first time uh, since the COVID uh, pandemic hit, we certainly want to welcome you back. We hope that you feel safe while you were here. Uh, I want to thank the Knights of Columbus. They put on a car show today, the first annual. Um, uh, It was a real community builder. Uh, it was well attended, and Father picked out the $250,000 Maserati <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to be the car. <laughs> but uh, I just want to thank you uh, all for who attended that, because it just kind of helps to make the community come together and also make things feel a little bit normal than, more normal than they have been. Father? This is not the second homily, but I want just to say to you, what is important is not what we say, but what we do. Even for what it has happened today with the Knights of Columbus, I was surprised to see it. It's the first time since I came here. And uh, the way I saw the parishioners and the other people from different, different places, they came together and we're together as a family. This is what I want to say to you. How do we evangelize? There are different ways of evangelizing. And that's the good news has given us the risen Christ. There is a different way of taking Jesus to the people. I want to encourage you, no matter what you do, come closer and evangelize. As I shared with you one time, there was a procession during Corpus Christ. And for us in Tanzania, 
Corpus Christi, the procession is long. It can take even more than uh, three kilometers. You walk with the, with the blessed sacrament. One day we were just approaching in one of the house someone who is an African traditionalist, whether he's not, he's not a Christian, he said, why are you passing me? Why don't you come and stop at my house? And we said, oh, next year. So we proceed, and he followed us. And then after one month, he came and said, you told me next year, so don't forget. <laughs> so we had to arrange so that you can put one station for the Blessed Sacrament just outside his house. We went there, we had the prayers and where, and that was the beginning for him. He was converted himself and the whole family. I want to tell you, God meets us where we are. You can see maybe it's just a little thing, but it can make a difference in your life. Even to invite you a friend who is not a a Christian, just say, please come and join us ascension during the celebration. Come and see. That is another way of evangelizing. Even when you talk with your brothers and sisters outside, just share what you believe. Share of what the joy of the gospel. Who is Jesus to you? Because there are different ways. And sometimes, People want to hear our stories. And that's why every time people say, oh, Father, we enjoy your stories when you share from Tanzania, because that who, who makes me who I am. And I'm proud of it. And every time I'm saying that it's better to share my story, because that is the way I'm evangelizing. And that's why even my story with my mom, I didn't finish that. There are a lot of things to say. But I wanted to tell you, wherever you share your story, it's so powerful, it can make a difference. So let us do it as we are preparing ourselves to celebrate 50th anniversary. What are you going to share with your brothers and sisters if it's not the good news, the good news of love and the good news of your faith? Amen. Amen. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We go in the peace of Christ. Thanks. With one voice the angels sing Songs that make creation ring us to live in spirit and in truth. God the Father, Elohim, voice of thunder, spirit wind, breathe on me your very Grace will make the darkness bright. Word of God enthroned, dwell in us forevermore. Love has come to show the everybody.